Omar writes, Greetings, Collider crew. Today it was announced that there won't be any new trailers for Star Wars at D23. Why is Disney so secretive about this movie when they, it's just four <laughs> months away? Wouldn't it be better for the studio to build up the hype like WB did with BVS, Batman vs. Superman, instead of treat it as just another movie? Thanks and keep being awesome. Okay, so let's start by giving you the benefit of the doubt that when you wrote that, you probably didn't know that this big EW piece was dropping. So let's take that out of the equation totally, because that's not your fault at all. But keeping this movie a secret? They just had this massive worldwide Star Wars celebration event where hundreds of thousands of people from around the world joined via online and gathered and crowded in Anaheim, California and be a big part of it. The movie is still over four months away and they've already given us two trailers. Th that's the thing. They've already given us two trailers and the movie is still over four months away. So I there is nothing that I've personally seen out of Disney or Lucasfilm that they're treating Star Wars like just another movie. I think their strategy on this has been brilliant up to this point. The way they've been handling media, how much they give. And you know, it's funny because... Quite often, film fans, myself included, people at this table included, we will complain, that movie's showing us too much, mm -hmm. too much. Four months out, we've already got two trailers, we've already got Star Wars Celebration, we've got an already, and we're complaining that they're hiding it? Nah, they're, they're, doing, they're doing everything right at the right time. Plus, I think, we talked about this on Jedi Council, and I think maybe you agree with me, I, I've always thought that they're going to use D23 to highlight Rogue One. Um, I mean, it would have made sense if they did some episode seven stuff, I think. Would have made sense. I wouldn't have been surprised if they did. But I really thought they were going to handle, uh, you know, focus on Rogue One. I think that's what they're going to do. Put the spotlight on there. We still got four months to go for lots of marketing to come. Anyway, Mark, how do you see all this? I, I think Omar and I are cut from the same cloth and that we're both fervent Star Wars fans. And when you are such a rabid fan of a franchise like this, two things tend to happen is that you have a short memory and you get spoiled easily. The short memory is like, oh, well, we haven't gotten anything and you hear we're not getting anything from the Force Awakens to D23. Well, we have gotten a lot of great things from the Star Wars brain trust already about this movie movie so they're not keeping it so super secretive that nobody knows it's coming out everybody knows this movie is happening in December and you can't get spoiled on the fact that they gave us a great trailer so we expect one at every convention now I would love to see new Force Awakens footage at D23. I'm still not 100% that they're not going to show us anything, but I don't need to see it. I don't need to see anything else. I think that we're going to get a trailer when they're good and ready, and I would prefer for them to not have to rush something and do something out of their comfort zone just to give it to fans at a convention. Do it when you are ready, because everything you've done so far makes me trust you as from a marketing perspective, from a merchandising perspective, and as a fan who doesn't want too much revealed. Yeah, I feel the same way. I don't I don't I think keeping some secrets is very very important. And you know, I think the way they did it today and again, there's no way Omar could have known the pictures and the spread that oh, was yeah. going to come out no today. Way. But I think that that's actually the perfect little taste. You know, it's like you're getting the images, JJ is talking. This is going this should this needs to satisfy for a little while longer because at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but I actually actively avoid at TV spots and clips and things like that because I just want to experience the piece as a whole. And um, I watched the teaser trailer for Force Awakens when it came out. I watched the full trailer when it came out. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm kind of good. I want to <laughs> go on this ride. I want I want to experience it all as it was meant to be seen. And so for me, I actually think it's a good idea that they're not showing or saying they're going to show that much more at, D, at D23. And I hope that they show more from the other movies. That could be kind of cool. I hope they have one more full trailer before the premiere one yeah. more full trailer to right. come there will probably be two I, there will probably be two I would be totally content I'd guess with just there's one just going to be the one more theatrical trailer what JJ said that'll probably give us a little bit more insight into what's going to happen then you have your TV spots that might have one or two new clips and then let's get this damn movie out baby <laughs> <laughs>